Hey Taurus, welcome to July. Taurus, Taurus, Boris. I don't know why I have that stuck in my head. I'm excited for the Taurus reading. I feel like a lot of the readings have been sort of similar so far, um, but I just feel like yours is a little bit different, and so I'm excited. Um, the main theme for the month is where we're going to start, what it is you need to focus your energy on, what your challenges are going to be, and then what it is you need to release. And what you need to release, plus your challenges are important, coming into a Mercury retrograde. Now, we're also going to look at money and career specifically, just because in the Facebook page, that's what you guys voted for as what you really wanted to know for July. And we'll look at your love life for singles, couples, and undefined relationships, which might be a polyamorous relationship, an on-again and off-again relationship, or somebody like maybe you're casually dating, but it's not necessarily official yet, sort of a thing, okay? So let's get started. Taurus, your main theme for the month is not working too hard. <laughs> it's like not really expending tons of energy. So sort of like a loungy, like easy July is where we want to have our main focus be, like taking the easy road. Um, where should you be focusing your energy? And they're like definitely not on starting new things. They're saying it's, it's sort of like the other readings where it's like whatever you – put out is what you're going to get back, um, but it's kind of also for you specifically a little bit karmic. It's like whatever efforts you put in before, now you can sit back in July and kind of just wait for things to flow to you. Now this could go either way. If you put a lot of negative complaining energy out there, you might be kind of just sitting there like, oh my god, like getting a lot of annoying clients, for example, um, you know, irritating messages from siblings or friends, um, kind of feeling annoyed. But if you made an effort to put a lot of joy and love or whatever into your life in different areas, now that will come back to you as you sort of just sit back and then you get to enjoy it. So um, what is it that might be a challenge for you this month? And they're saying you might not be feeling actually very physically strong. Now, the reason why this might be kind of one of those sit back and lounge months is for some of you, you might be physically ill. Um, and so you might be worried about how that's going to affect you in um, as far as like how other people view you. Like if you can't go to work, people might be like, oh, why does this person take so many days off or, um, you know, whatever. But they're saying like, Try to be, try to hold out this like youthful, optimistic, anything is possible type of attitude because really wonderful things can flow to you based on the karmic energy that we've created historically. Um, really lucky, wonderful things can flow as you're sitting there kind of recovering. Um, now for the rest of you, they're saying they don't really have much to say when I said like, what's, what's up with the challenges for those of you who won't be like necessarily um, catching like a cold or, you know, whatever. They're saying, we really don't have any other challenges to mention for you. So if that's not you, fantastic. Um, for those of you that will be in that energy though, is there anything you can do to prevent it? And they go, not really. Cause I thought, oh, maybe you could take airborne or, you know, whatever, drink more water. And they're saying, no, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Sorry about it. Um, is there anything that we need to release in the month of July? And they say, um, <laughs> so this is really, really great. They go, we need to release a lot of energy of um, luck, right? Like, I'm so lucky to have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And so in a certain sense, this is about gratitude. Um, they're saying get super focused on it, even if things seem like they're kind of falling apart. You know, it's like, I'm thankful that I have clean water to drink. I'm thankful that I have oxygen to breathe. I'm thankful that I'm alive. I'm thankful, like, you know, maybe we lose an arm in a farm accident. And you're like, I'm thankful I still got the other one. Like, there's always something to be great, grateful for. And they say the more that we focus on gratitude this month, the more lucky we're going to be. The more that things are really going to shape up for us in every area of our life, in regards to our finances, in regards to our health, in regards to our family, in regards to our social relationships and our love life. They're saying many, many blessings will come the more that we focus on gratitude for Taurus. Um, what's up with your money and career? And they say things are pretty balanced as expected. Now, when it comes to the actual work, place, you and colleagues or you and your workplace might have like the same end goal or mission, but different ideas on how to approach it. So, you know, maybe the idea you have a meeting and the idea is how are we going to save money? Um, and you're like, 
let's just not order so many of sticky notes. And they're like, well, no, why don't we have you guys work like a little bit harder and sell more whatever to make up the difference? And so then there's this sort of like imbalance there where people are arguing about the best way to handle something. But the end goal um, is the same. And so the more that you can focus on that end goal, the more that you'll walk away from this feeling satisfied with um, however it turns out. You won't have to engage so much in those arguments, in those situations. Um, with colleagues or, you know, with your workplace, if you're just focused on the end goal. Anytime that the conversation turns to the how, um, turn it back to that end goal. Okay, well, we all want the same thing here. Um, they're saying communication is going to be very important. And in a Mercury retrograde, we want to make sure that we're triple double checking everything that we're doing. Um, any email that is important that needs to go out, make sure that it didn't land in your outbox or a folder that it actually went through sent to the right address because this is a common time for things to hit snap foos and so they're saying you know when in doubt over communicate this month in regards to money and career stuff now um, when it comes to your love life if you're a single Taurus they're saying think really deep and hard about what it is that you really want from relationships how do you want to feel and hold out hope and faith for that because it can come through for you this month um, if you are in a coupled relationship they're saying the problem here for you guys might be that some of you might go, you know what, I'm actually not as happy in this relationship as I wish that I could be. And some of you will be deciding to emotionally move on from it, whether you actually physically move on or not. But you might be starting to keep your options open. Now, um, as mentioned, this is a lucky month for Taurus. So you might get lucky and find something that makes your heart sing a little bit more. Now, for those of you who are not in that situation in your coupled relationship, um, they're saying then we're just moving on from the way that we used to feel about certain problems within the relationship and kind of being more okay with that. So an example that might be extreme is, okay, I am with my partner and he likes to cross dress and that used to really bother me but now I've decided I really don't give a fuck. It's like I love you for who you are if that makes you happy whatever. Who gives a shit? I'm okay with it now. It could go either way for coupled relationships um, for Taurus. It's either moving on from something that used to bugging you to acceptance or just saying you know what I can't really do that anymore and moving on. Um, now, for those of you in the undefined relationships, as I mentioned, there's a lot of defensive energy here, like feeling like you either need to defend yourself or your choices to other people. They're saying, um, now this is kind of a similar energy to the energy for coupled Tauruses, where it's like, you can tell other people, like, look, you either accept it as a whole or you don't and it's done. Um, and this could even be outside influences. Maybe you are in, maybe you're gay and your family's not okay with that. And you can just say, you know what? You either accept it or we just don't fucking talk about it. Like, I'm going to live my life and I'm not going to worry about how you feel. Like, this is, my relationships are about me. I choose who I'm going to be with and what fulfills me. And they're saying, you're going to get out of these undefined relationships, what you put into it, um, which isn't dissimilar from most of the other readings this month. That's kind of the theme. But um, so if you're not really feeling it, if you can't feel like you are prior, if you don't feel like you're prioritizing certain things, then maybe it's just not for you and it's time to move on. Uh, anything else that undefined relationships need to know? They're like, there will definitely be some challenges and the question is just like, is it worth it or not? Uh, best of luck to you. I love you a ton and I'll see you in August. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!